Hi, my name is Goran Lundqvist and today we're going to go into ServiceNow and take a look at OrderGuys. I guess most of you who have been working with OrderGuys knows that they could have a little bit more of loving from ServiceNow. And today we're going to take a look at the problem we have with OrderGuys and the request and requested items. For example, let's say you want to create an SLA for an order guide from the minute it starts to it end. Not for the specific item, but the request itself. And if we look at the request, we can see that this request comes from the out of the box new higher order guide. There is not a field on the form or actually on the table itself that shows that this comes from order guide new higher. Strangely, if you click on a requested item, you can see that if you slow down, you have an order guide field saying that this requested item belongs to new hire. But if you go and want to create an SLA, it will be tough because since you go for a table request, You don't have the ability to choose that the field order guide should be new hire. So it's kind of hard to start the DSLA. So now I'm going to show you a way you can do it to set up so it's working. First, we need to go into the table of request and create the order guide field. So we'll scroll down and we'll add a field called order guide. We will make it a reference field to the table order guides. And this is exactly the same field set up as on the requested item. So we'll save it. And now, if we go to request, we at least got the field. There's no information in it, but at least we have the field. So one way to do it is go to the workflow and we all know we have the default workflow for requests, the service catalog request workflow. So just, let's just edit this one and give it a little bit of a tweak and we we'll, are up and running. So we'll check it out. Then what we'll do, we'll add a script and we'll call this connect to order guy. So basically what we want to do is we want to go into this request, requested item and see if they are connected to an order guide. And if they are, we'll take that value and put it in this table as well. So let's start to get the requested items. New record. And we want to add a query, of course, that the request field on the requested item should have the sysid of this request. We are also interested in only getting one record because if one requested item is connected to the form, the rest is as well. So we only need to fetch one record. Then we'll do the query. And let's see if we get anything. 
if there are any records. And on that record, the order guide field, order guide isn't empty. So this line checks, did our query have any records? And the record it will get, since it's only one, make sure that the order guide field on that record isn't empty. Because if this, we don't want to do anything. And since this, we go and take the current record, which is the request, and the field we just created called to show you the U underlined order guide. So we want to take that field and populate it with the same value. I'd like to get the value from order guide. <clears throat> and just remember, you don't need a current update here because the workflow activity will take care of that itself. So this is pretty much the only code you will be needing. So let's submit it. And let's put it between the set values and the if. We'll drag it like this. There we go. And let's try it. So we'll go into the service catalog. We find a new hire. Put in the information that is needed. Like that, and we'll check out. And I have the two steps, I have to press check out again. And the request has been submitted. If I press the request, you can now see that the order guide has been filled with new hire. Looking at the workflow, you can see how nice it's gone. And since I ordered a standard laptop, it needs to have an approval, of course. Now I can go to the SLA and have a new higher SLA and on the store condition I now can type wrong table of course request and I can take order guide, order guide is new hire. So now suddenly I can set start condition to be a specific order guide, otherwise this SLA won't show up. What I did before that you might have noticed is I also on the request took the related list task SLA and made it show here as well. So the SLAs will be visible if you go and look at the request. So this is, was a quick view, how you can match the order guys to request and start using some cool stuff from there. That's all for today. So thanks a lot for showing up and see you around.